covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Users of a widely used firewall from Sophos have been under a zero-day attack that was designed to steal usernames, cryptographically protected passwords, and other sensitive data. The well-researched and developed attack exploited an SQL injection flow flaw in fully patched versions of the Sophos XG firewall. With that toehold in systems, it downloaded and installed a series of scripts that ultimately executed code intended to make off with users' real names, usernames, the cryptographically hashed form of the passwords, and the salted SHA-256 hash of the administrator account's password. Sophos has delivered a hotfix that mitigates the vulnerability. Other data? Targeted by the attack included an IP address allocation permissions for firewall users, system information such as running OS and version, uptime and network configuration, as well as the ARP tables used to map IP addresses to device MAC addresses. Sophos researchers wrote in Sunday's disclosure, this malware's primary task appeared to be data theft, which it could perform by retrieving the contents of various database tables stored in the firewall, as well as by running some operating system commands. The exploits also downloaded the malware from domains that appeared in the le to be legitimate. To evade detection, some of the malware deleted underlying files that executed it and ran solely in memory. The malicious code uses a creative and roundabout method to ensure it's executed, it's executed each time firewalls are started. Those characteristics strongly suggest that the threat actors spent weeks or months laying the groundwork for the attacks. The data the malware was designed to exfiltrate suggests the attack was designed to give attackers the means to further penetrate the organizations that use the firewall through phishing attacks and unauthorized access to user accounts. The zero-day vulnerability that made the attacks possible was a pre-authentication SQL injection flaw found in the custom operating system that runs the firewall. Sophos provided no additional details about the vulnerability. Users of vulnerable firewalls should ensure the hotfix is installed as soon as possible and then examine their systems for signs of compromise published on the Sophos news site. As the fix is part of the automatic e update ecosystem, ensure your firewall has these enabled to receive the fix.